Everyone needs a fun watch in the collection. Well, maybe not me. I do love boring watches. However, these ones with their bright, beautiful colors, they bring out personality and they are convincing me and I might just buy one. No, I can't, I can't. I'm saving up. I'm actually on a wait list. How embarrassing. Introducing the Oris Diver 65 Bronze Cotton Candy Edition in blue. We have the pink in the background and the green as well. And all can be purchased at Kavar Jewelers website down in the description of this video. Email me for a discount code and look at this gorgeous diver's watch coming in with a brand new size. We used to have the 36, the 40 and the 42. Diver 65, I believe this is the first ever 38. Correct me guys in the comments if I'm wrong. Now who was Oris? Holstein, Switzerland, 1904. They are a Swiss made independent brand which you could be proud to own. And as you can see, it's in beautiful bronze. Brushing on top of the lugs and high polish on the sides of the case. Wow, this thing is gorgeous. Always a big fan of bronze. And if you're worried about patina, guys, don't be. Look at this picture here. This is the other Oris Diver 65 in bronze, the first one they released. Look how it patinaed over time. If you don't like the way your bronze watch has patinaed, you can always reset that patina with lemon juice, a toothbrush, and a little bit of elbow grease. It is as simple as that, and it will get it back to brand new condition, as you see here. So you can always keep it shiny if you want to, but it's nice to see how it patinas, how it will grow with you. Now the measurements. I got 38.2 in diameter. We have a thickness of 12.8 with that double dome boxed sapphire crystal with AR on the underside. You get a beautiful vintage distortion, but with sapphire so it won't scratch. And the lug to lug is 45.7. So amazing brand new dimensions for the Diver 65. It's going to wear elegantly. It's going to disappear on the wrist. And uh, I'm excited about this new case side. Now the strap is a beautiful light brown leather that's nice and thick. It's a lot thicker than I thought it would be. And it is sealed with this black right here. Creates a nice two-tone contrast. I love it. Unfortunately, 19 I measured, so 19 mil straps, tapering down to 14. Beautiful, nice, aggressive taper, so it will be nice and elegant. But yeah, I measured at 19. I couldn't find any literature on the actual size, so I believe it is 19. But guys, correct me, please, down in the comments. It is very soft and nice, but right here where it's at its thickest point, gonna need some breaking in, but this will break in nicely, 100%. It feels great. I think it's a good strap. It also has a signed bronze buckle. And I don't know why it's patinaing already. But that looks gorgeous. We do have a keeper that does not move, a stationary one. And we do have a floater. So when you size it, it's going to wear perfectly. Excellent. Leather strap with quick release spring bars. You can see them right there. We have a stainless steel case back so it doesn't irritate the skin. We have a screw down crown at 6.3 millimeters, 100 meters of water resistance. So just a skin diver diving with only your skin, no wetsuit, no aqua lung. And the bezel, the secret measurement, I got 38.2, same as the case. The bezel is bronze with a bronze insert and the insert is 3D engraved and milled out, out of bronze. You can see some raised Arabics and raised hash marks. There's also some engraved hash marks, rose gold applied indices and simple high polished bronze or rose gold hands. That beautiful cotton candy blue is stunning. Now this is so vibrant. It just breathes life into the wearer. It's an amazing color, a fun watch to have. Definitely a big fan of this color and the way it offsets with that bronze is just gorgeous. 
I love the date window at six, beautiful symmetry. Here it is on my six and a half inch wrist. Wears perfectly. Now these Diver 65 from Oris, they wear a little bit larger than their size indicates because of that ultra thin bezel and that all dial look, that dome sapphire helping. Look at that ultra thin profile. This thing is gorgeous on the wrist. Now you're gonna have to get used to smaller watches. If you have a big wrist, this one is gonna disappear on your wrist. You're gonna be wearing the watch. The watch is not gonna be wearing you. And I had a big problem with my Diver 65 40 mil. It was too straight the case. So I would have the big gap here and here. On this one, much, much better. Fits me way nicer. Definitely, definitely the size for me. And if you guys wanna see a comparison between the 40 and the 38, let me know down in the comments below. This thing is just something special. Okay, let's do the weight. 72 grams, wow. Ultra lightweight and comfortable. Okay, here we have it on the time grapher. This movement is based off the Salita SW200 26 joules, 288 VPH, 38 hours of power reserve hack and wine automatic, powerful amplitude at 300, very low beat error, and we did eight rounds dial up and it was plus 13. And now eight rounds, 12 down, and the eighth and final round, plus 11. All right, so plus 13 and plus 11 with very powerful amplitude on both. So on the wrist, it's probably gonna be around plus 12. Very easy to regulate. Positional accuracy is excellent. So just needs to turn the screw half of a hair to the left and you got a perfect reading. Okay, there is the loom shot. Now these hands have the faux patina and so do the indices. So don't expect great loom. I would say average or a little bit below average, but wasn't expecting great loom anyways. Here it is in the low light situation, ultra high contrast with that bronze and baby blue dial, also the bronze on the hands. So high legibility with this one, definitely a beautiful design from Oris. And with the new size proportion, it is such a winner. What do you guys think of the new size and the new cotton candies? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you wanna support the channel, please check out this video here or this video here and I'll see you in the next one.